Hello everyone, my name is Sun Bing Wang, and my topic for my project is Feedback Displacement Control of Dilatio Elastoma Extra. I will combine my research project and uh, the course project to finish this topic. So what's Dilatio Elastoma material? Dilatio Elastoma material represents a soft smart materials which can change in size or shape as a consequence of high voltage uh, apply on the servers. The essentially capacitors, a common design of the DEAs is to sandwich. As we can see from the picture above, a soft uh, insulating elastomer membrane between two electrodes. When a voltage is applied between the electrodes, the rising voltage causes a decrease in the thickness and an increase in the area of the membrane, which can make the material to move or change in the shape. They have lots of applications. The left example exhibits the application in six legs robot. With the control system, the six legs can cooperate with each other and make a diverse to move. The red pictures show the application in mimic the facial expressions. So in my project, I need to find a suitable controller to control the movement of the DE material. Model of a DE actuator. Here is a simplified model of the DE actuator. For the RC circuit shown above, a dynamic model will be created. To be more precious, two dynamic models will be created. The first dynamic model is circular state space representation. The second dynamic model is circular transfer function H of S. U1 of T is the input voltage and the output signal is the voltage U2 of T. Both of the input and output signal are in time domain. Now we write curvature voltage knob for the circuit. Take into account following relationship and formulas. General form of a state space uh, representation equation is following. Where A represents state matrix B is the input matrix C is output matrix and D is fit through matrix. From the formulas of a function, we can get a value of the matrix A, B, C, and D. Then from the formulas of the transfer function, I take into account out the value for the matrix A, B, C, and D, then I can get a transfer function from U1 to U2, which T equal RC is the time constant. Here is the block diagram of feedback control. First, I need to use FFT to calculate the value of current and voltage. Then I got the value of rectangles and displacement. I use a polynomial function to fit the relationship between the rectangles and the displacement of a DE tube. So I can go to the self-sensing model. Next, I will use the self-sensing signal as a feedback signal to control the input voltage to the dielectric elastomer actuator. The left-hand side is the reference signal, which is the displacement I want the DE tube to move. Then, I use the PI controller to control the input voltage based on the arrow between the value of a reference signal and the feedback signal. The probing signal was used for self-sensing model. And here is the four experiment set up. The black and the red electrodes will connect to the high voltage amplifier to act on the movement of the DE tube. The laser sensor was used to measure the real value of the displacement of the tube, and then compare with the self sensing value and the reference signal. Since the material is very complex with its viscosity, it's very hard to get a state space model directly. So in this project, I focus on frequency domain rather than on time domain. I chose a frequency from 0.02 Hz to 10 Hz. Then I got a board plot from the voltage to the displacement. And I used set order transfer function to fill this data. Here is the transfer function. Here is the results I got from the experiment. The left hand side is a sine wave. The right hand side is a triangular input. The first row are the value of voltage, current, and rectangles. The middle row are the value of a self sensor model, laser sensor, and a referring signal. As we can see from the results, the three values are very similar, which means the model and the controller are choose fitting the DE material very well. Here is the output from the random input signal. It also shows a good performance for the model, but we can also see sometimes there are some noise or disturbance, so in the future, the work is to remove this noise and find a more robust controller to control the movement of the material. Here is the reference I use in my project. 
That's all for my presentation. Thanks.